My name is Roxanne Laureen Baker, and I am the author and illustrator of the book, Lolly the Loggerhead Turtle. We are here on location in Bayo Honda State Park, which is in the Florida Keys, just south of the famous Seven Mile Bridge. Our story begins right here, on this beach, where Lolly hatches from her egg and digs out of her nest. The first few years of her life are spent hiding and being nourished by floating islands of this seagrass. Just a mile or two off the coast here is the Gulf Stream, which is a current of water that is heated at the equator, flows north along the east coast of the United States, cools off, and returns to the equator along the west coast of Europe and Africa. And way over the horizon to the south is a place called Tangiers, where Lolly spends the first part of her life until she returns right back here to this beach to lay her own eggs. So the water circles and the turtle circle, both playing important roles in the circle of life. For the next two weeks, we will be studying protected and endangered species. Let's begin with the story of Lolly, the loggerhead turtle. Lolly, the loggerhead turtle by Laureen Baker. Lolly the loggerhead turtle hatched from her nest at midnight on a quiet Atlantic beach by a beautiful full moon's light. She had to use her cutting teeth to get herself out of her shell. Then she dug to the surface of her nest which was shaped like a shallow well. Lolly and her 68 brothers and sisters all helped each other dig. Then they followed the light to the water where they did a celebration jig. Sadly, not all of them made it because birds and fish lay in wait to snatch up the baby turtles like they were fishing bait. But Lolly and many of her siblings swam furiously towards the moonbeam till they reached the deeper water, then they paddled into the Gulf Stream. They rode that warm current together until they reached Tangiers, where they swam, played, ate, and grew for almost 26 years. Then one day Lolly, now an adult, met Lou, who was quite a nice guy. They swam together for about six weeks, then they told their friends goodbye. Lolly and Lou began the long trip back to the Florida beach where she'd hatched. When they finally saw the shoreline, they were exhausted and took a long nap. They stayed offshore for a few more days until June's full moon shone bright. Then they waited till humans were gone from the beach very late at night. Lou stayed on the reef and ate snacks within reach while Lolly rode on the waves towards the beach. She swam through the surf and crawled out on the land above the high tide line till she felt dry sand. Now she dug a big hole as deep as she could and laid 60 eggs like most loggerheads would. She covered the eggs by throwing the sand with her strong back fins in that quiet parkland. When the hole was filled in, she looked all around to be sure that her nest looked like just a small mound. She wished her eggs well and re-entered the sea. Then a ranger snuck up and marked her nest by the tree. So if you are taking a walk on the beach and see a small mound of sand at your feet, with something that looks like an ATV track, coming from the sea, then going right back. 
Don't kick it or touch it. Just do what is best. Walk carefully round it. It might be a nest.